if you're doing monkey branching, it means that the person that you're with is not who you want to be with. And if the person is monkey branching to you, guess what? They don't want to be with you either. Did you push record? <laughs> Thanks for tuning in again to Our Second Act with Paige and Selka. For your second act of life. Hey there, Selka. Hello, Paige. Uh, Paige, today, what is monkey branching? It's funny, I almost said monkey wrenching. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I started researching it. It's, again, it's something that existed for a while. And we're experiencing it in, you know, many different ways because of all the communication options we have. So Paige, let's talk about that. What is monkey branching and what does that say about you? So like we said, <clears throat> our world is so good at taking something that's always been going on and labeling it a different label. So Basic terms, monkey branching is you're in a relationship and you're also kind of going over here. Is it cheating? Is it not cheating? You're flirting. You're seeing who else is out there. Um, you're kind of, well, maybe I'll have somebody in the wings if this doesn't work out. Um, so for me, it's basically you're not being present and committed with who you are. The grass is always greener. There's something always better out there, whether you're doing it to who you're with or they're doing it to you. It's a kind of piece of eye feeling. There's an unsettledness um, with the person who's doing monkey branching. And if you're doing monkey branching, it means that the person that you're with is not who you wanna be with. And if the person is monkey branching to you, guess what? They don't wanna be with you either. So does that make sense as a first kind of start to this conversation? Yeah, it, make, it makes all kinds of sense. You're preparing for a new relationship because obviously something something is wrong. And of course, one of uh, the ways that monkey branching is applied, uh, according to what I've been reading, is in, in the, these rebound relationships, uh, which would make sense. You know, you're in something that ha that hasn't ended yet. Uh, maybe we should talk about what are some signs that you're being monkey branched. What what do you say to that, Paige? Like we talked about off camera, you know, if you're not getting the attention that you used to get, why is that? Number two, if someone's constantly on their phone more than usual, texting more than usual taking calls away from you, texts away from you more than usual, pay attention to that. Cause you always want to see like, how is your partner's behavior prior to what's going on? If something has changed drastically, pay attention to that too. There's a red flag. If they want to go out more without you, if they're going to do different types of hobbies without you, you know, all in all, Everybody knows and has a knowing when their significant other is pulling away, not there emotionally, physically, mentally. We know if it feels like mm, things are starting to feel different and maybe this is on a way of ending or changing, pay attention to that as well. So it's really looking at the behaviors of what your partner's doing. And here's another thing. If you check their phone, and many people do, or check their emails, and you start to see communication with others, don't ignore it. I can't tell you how many times people come see me and they say, I found this, what do I do? Don't ignore it. You have to fess up that you had a feeling something was going on, so you can either ask the person directly, is something going on in our relationship? Are you looking somewhere else? Are you having another relationship with someone. I'm noticing you're doing more flirting. What's going on with us? If you were significant other at the time says nothing, nothing, nothing. Most of the time my clients will still look to see what's going on. If you look and you find correspondence with someone else, pay attention. Don't think that if you stay in this relationship, you can save it. Mm -mm. When someone's already starting to do that and branch out, that means they don't wanna be with you. Even if they say, no, 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 I promise that I won't do it again. Someone's doing it 
that's what they want to do. Does that make sense, Soka? Absolutely. Something is wrong, period. Yeah. Something is wrong. And yeah, you do need to address it. And sometimes when you address it, it doesn't mean it can't be fixed. Because sometimes a person, when they do get caught, there is an awakening. Not that, uh, you know, I, mean, I, I think it's a, it's a big red flag, but sometimes it's like, oh my God, I don't want to lose her. Or I don't want to lose him. And they, they, they will make a change. And that just brought up something. What you just said was so important. So let me share this. If you met the person you're having a relationship in, from them doing monkey branching and they were in a relationship and they met you and then they broke up what do you think the odds are <laughs> that they're doing it again if they did it prior there's a pattern here such an excellent excellent <laughs> Yeah. Excellent. We see it a lot. Excellent it point. Yeah. Lot. That actually, we, we had one of the comments from one of our viewers who brought the monkey branching uh, to my attention said, you know, I think this woman, I think monkey branched me. And then he described it that she had a, you know, she sort of let it slip that she had a boyfriend, but set up a date with him. And she said, really? You know, what should I do with that? I said, run. You don't want to run. start a relationship. <laughs> if somebody's already with someone else and they're looking for you, Again, this person doesn't want to be committed. This person does not want to be present. This person is not honest with you or themselves. This person will not be authentic in a relationship at all with you because they're not authentic with themselves. Don't kid yourself. Don't think, oh, but we're so attracted and we have so much that we, you know, share together. Mm -mm. Nope, it's not going to work. Yeah. No, bottom line is it's a really crappy thing to do to somebody. Uh, yeah. You know, if, if you are in a relationship and you don't, you're, you're that kind of person that never wants to be alone. And so you, you prep the way. Work on yourself. That, that's a really yeah. shitty thing to do to somebody. Yeah. Deal with your fear of being alone, where it came from, and step into it. Yeah. However, so many people are so afraid to deal with their own stuff that it's easier for them to hurt others and go this way. At some point, if you're doing this monkey branching, shit's going to come back to hit you in the ass because it always does. Those darn monkeys have a way of slinging it too. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paige, on that note, anything else you want to... <laughs> No, I think you ended it beautifully. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So good. Please leave us your comments and questions. We love getting that. We wouldn't. I wouldn't have come up with this topic. <laughs> and it's uh, you know it, it it may be a new label, but it's it's something that's existed forever and something that's always worth discussing and being aware of. So we will see you next time on our second act with Paige and Silka for your second act of life. Bye. <laughs>questions or particular idea about a topic that you'd like to hear us cover, please visit our website, secondact.tv. We have a little suggestion box in the upper right-hand corner of our site. Just click on that, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time.